Bienvenidos al canal Tacoaches. Today we're gonna do something that is going to make the Silverado a way better off-roading vehicle, I guess. And it's gonna cool it down because as much as I like blowing trannies, just like every one of you watching this, I don't wanna blow another tranny. I'm done blowing trannies. I just want a reliable truck that is not gonna blow up a tranny. If you don't know, everyone will tell you that Chevy transmissions are garbage. Well, at least the 4, 4L60s, um, I already blew one on my other truck, and I don't want to do another one. I It's too much work, but I kind of blame it on Chevy if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I blame the transmissions blowing on Chevy because the higher-end Silverados actually have an external cooler right in front of the grill. This one does not. These lower-end models actually have the transmission lines running to the radiator, and if you know anything about coolant, coolant is hot. Trying to cool something down with something that's already hot just kind of doesn't work. And that's a weak point with his transmissions. The moment they get hot, they blow up. I bought the cooler off eBay. I got the brackets from this company called here. I'm going to try to link everything in the bio. So if you want to get these for yourself, I'm going to link them. So Glenn's Auto, I bought the brackets from Glenn Auto and I bought the lines off eBay. This was cheaper than just buying the whole kit from Glenn's Auto. So I'm going to link everything in this video in the description boxes if you want to get it for yourself. Let's throw it on. Mission number one, remove the grill. Luckily, this isn't going to be a super difficult job. The first step is removing the grill. Removing the grill is very easy because we have a couple clips holding the top of it, which in this case is only two. The other two were already removed and weren't replaced. And then the rest of the grill is clipped on. If you've ever seen someone seal these grills, you could literally seal them in 10 seconds. It's that fast. I don't have the proper tool for this, but the small flathead just jiggling it back and forth like so. We'll get it out, and then you can just wiggle it out. It's out. That is it. Same thing for this one. Just a small little flathead. We'll get this out. And you pull, and you're done. Grill is now officially off, and we have so much access to everything now. So this is what you have to do. So now we can throw the bracket, the cooler, and the line. After removing the grill, the next step is to remove the lower bracket on the front of your vehicle. So this is held on by two 10 millimeter bolts. Also, do not lose these because you are going to be reusing them. Next step is we're, we're gonna run our brand new bracket in the same location using the same bolts, just like so. Like so, new bracket is now installed. Before we throw the cooler on, I'm going to be installing these 10 AN adapters for the cooler. These are simply gonna screw to the bottom of the cooler like, like this. But before we actually put them on there, I don't want any leaks, so we're gonna use some seal and lock thread compound. This is going to make sure this thing doesn't leak. We're gonna tighten it and then throw it on. Cooler is now installed. As for the top mounts, you do have to use uh, self tappers. So we have a self tapper there, a self tapper there, and you do the same thing as you did as the bottom. So it's the cooler, the spacer, and then the bracket and then the lock, lock washer and the nut. So it is installed. My only complaint, honestly, is the price of these brackets. They are not worth the money. I regret buying them. They were $70. I'm still going to add them to the link, but I suggest you don't buy them. Way overpriced. I should have just gone to Home Depot and bought, you know, a piece of metal, drilled two holes in it. I would have had the same thing. So super overpriced and I regret buying them. But besides that, it was plug and play. Now we can run our hoses. As for my AN lines, you don't have to. Normally they never leak, but I'm gonna add a little bit of sealant, nothing crazy on these threads. So there we go, just a little bit. Same thing for this one. We're just adding a little bit of sealant. You don't have to, but I've always been a little paranoid. Why not? I'm already here. Now let's, as for the lines, I should have made them myself. It's literally just 490s on regular AN line. Like it's nothing too complicated. I've made them myself before, so. Yeah, if I had to do this again, I definitely wouldn't have bought the lines and I definitely wouldn't have bought the bracket. So, yeah, just so you know, unless you want this to be completely plug and play, I would probably have made both of those myself if I knew better. As for how I'm going to be routing these, I'm actually going to take the lines and I'm going to run them through that little gap right here where the radiator actually ends at the very end of the radiator, kind of where the stock ones are at. We're going to run in through there and then send them all the way back to the transmission. So nothing too crazy. Final step is actually installing these uh, 6 AN fittings onto the transmission. I did remove the stock lines. I actually broke them apart. I cut them off. 
Now let's throw these on the transmission, run our lines, and we're done. 40K cooler is finally installed. This thing looks so freaking menacing. Holy cow, dude. It is so freaking big. Look at that. Finally in, what a headache. It was so hard to get to the fittings underneath the transmission, but now we're gonna put it back in the ground, throw the grill on, and this thing should be 100% more reliable. Whoever recommended this cooler, you were not kidding. I'm trying to like check the fluid and I'm trying to get the transmission to warm up. I've been running this thing for like 30 minutes. Still ice cold. <laughs> it's not even going up, like holy snap. This thing is definitely gonna give me peace of mind. I see no leaks anywhere. I leaked a lot, but I don't see any leaks anymore. And yeah, man, we're just waiting for this thing to kind of warm up so we can check the fluid and make sure everything's proper. Grill is back on, and honestly, you would never know. It's sitting back there nicely, ready to cool the transmission down. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous now, so we are done. Let's put a little bit more fluid in there because I dropped a lot. And let's take it out for a spin. All right, let's take this bad boy out for a spin. Let's see what it does. Okay, it still goes in reverse. I dumped a lot of fluid, so now I'm like, uh, hopefully I didn't mess anything up by replacing it with clean fluid. Now to check for some leaks. We've been driving this for about 40 minutes. I can't get this thing to warm up. Maybe I need it's for towing, or maybe I just need to take it out on the highway. I don't know. Let's see. No leaks over there. No leaks over there. One last place, let's go underneath. And no leaks under here. Oh yeah, buddy. Dude, whoever recommended the 40K cooler, best mod for the money. I think I spent total 300, 300 bucks. And this thing is going to be super reliable. And now it's running ice cold. Well boys, I am finally done and I'm not gonna lie, that was not fun whatsoever. The, the only complaint I really have is the fact that those fittings are like so hard to get to if you're doing it on the floor or on a driveway. If you have a lift, it's fine because it's up there and you can kind of stretch your arms. But dude, being on the ground, that took me pretty much half the day. I am done. It, it completely worth it because it, it definitely made the truck shift a little smoother. It's, it shifts smooth. It, it has always shifted smooth, but it just feels extra smooth. On top of that, I can't get that thing to warm up. And when it comes to those 4L60s, 4L80s, the number one thing you want to do is keep them ice cold. And this thing is running so ice cold. Definitely worth the money. So if you want to make sure your transmission doesn't blow up, definitely check the 40K cooler out. I'm going to leave all the all the links in the description. If I'm being honest, do not buy the bracket and maybe not buy the lines, just, but the cooler is definitely worth the money. And I mean, I'm definitely gonna do it on my other truck as soon as I get it. But yeah, I am tired. Hopefully this taught you a little something. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but let me know why so I can kind of make the videos better. Yeah, I'm gonna go pass out. I'll see you guys next time.